Hayley Legs and I'm here at Hellfest 2018 with Mike from I Hate God in the wind! Yeah! <laughs> but at least we're not melting this year. No, it feels great out here. <laughs> it's awesome. Talking about things that are great, you are looking healthy. Uh, yeah. You are, is, are you well and truly over the liver transplant? All done. It's all, yeah, in the past now. I'm 100% uh, better, yeah. Oh, I'm, that's so great. Yeah, I mean, uh, four months after the surgery, we were doing shows, so. Wow. But uh, now I'm like 100%, you know? And how incredible is that that uh, you, you had people crowdfund so much of that, like, to, to see that people cared that much? It was amazing. To save your life. Amazing. Overwhelming. I, I, I couldn't believe it, you know? Did, you, I mean, did it bring a tear to your eyes? It did. <laughs> it did. It really did. I mean, it's just, that's one thing that kept me going when I was in the hospitals reading Facebook and every day there's just tons of, you know, messages for me and that that and, and knowing that I would play with the band again just kept yeah. me kept me being positive as positive as you can be in that situation you yeah, know yeah. yeah and what a great way to keep the band going uh, the, like the fantastic guest vocalists you had uh, right I mean yeah I mean that was like kind of my idea I mean we all agreed on it you know but I didn't want them to cancel anything you know we yeah. had stuff booked the one thing that uh, discharge is one of my favorite bands and uh, I didn't do the tour with them in the Aww. States, but at least they did it, and now we can be associated with that band. So. You can say we, we did Yeah, it. I can it say I think God toured with Discharge, but <laughs> I wasn't there, but still, you know, I was there in spirit. So So you got a newfound lust for life? Yeah, of course, yeah. When you almost die like that, you start thinking about things differently, you know? Yeah. You start looking at life. You just don't want to take anything for granted, you know? Yeah. You just want to do everything and just, yeah. So what is it now, like healthy living, or do you have to be? Um, I, well, of course, everybody should, but yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, um, I, I try to eat vegetarian, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. sometimes, you know, it's hard. I'm the same. In Europe, it's so easy, though. To yeah? Be yeah because, Easier than uh, in America? Uh, to me, just because at home, I'm like, I, you have to go shopping and cook. I don't cook at all. Right, yeah, it's cook. hard to be vegetarian when you don't cook. Yeah, and... Um, but, you know, over here, like, the clubs serve food, and it's all great vegetarian food. But, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm not doing anything different, really. I'm not drinking as much, but yeah, yeah. I have a glass of wine here and there, but that's, you know. Oh, and in France. Yeah, yeah. I mean, French I'm in France. <laughs> it's healthy, I think. It's not yeah, too bad. Yeah, you know, a glass of red wine with your dinner, it's all good. Not so bad. <laughs> So is it about time for a new record, do you think? We were listening to a, the demo today on the drive here. Oh, you have a demo? We have a demo of like, I think maybe five or six songs, I think. Oh, fantastic. But we're going to, I think we're going to re-record it. Because now we're a four-piece band now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, you know, so it's kind of a different, and, and with my health thing over with, it's um, kind of like a new era for the band. And it would be the first one without Joe. Right? Well, it? no, no. Uh, Brian, our other guitar player, he quit because uh, he, he has a new baby. He has two kids now. He has a new baby, and uh, he's taking care of his wife's parents. They're oh, having okay. some health issues, I believe, and uh, so it's for a good cause. But yeah, he, yeah. he just couldn't do. He couldn't tour with us anymore, and so. But I, I mean, it's it's fun being a four piece, you know. I just like the sound and the vibe and everything. So it's kind of like a new era of the band, you know. Yeah, it's a just, slightly different sound. I mean, Jimmy uses he puts amps on both sides, so we still have that sound, but just one guitar, you know. So it's a cool thing about I think having a, a drummer that's a multi instrumentalist. You get yeah. uh, you get someone who can see it from all sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a great guitar player, you know, for, yeah, he's a great yeah. drummer as well. <laughs> but so I think we're going to re-record the demo now that things are different. We feel different, and so, but uh, hopefully next year we'll have an next album year, out. Next year, early, late. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> okay. We, we did that for 14 years. We kept going, oh, it's coming out next year. And it took 14 years to put out a new record. No the, pressure then, no pressure. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> 14 years. Yeah, well, that's, that's a bit long. Well, You're not Axl Rose, mate. <laughs> Well, right, well, I try. Yeah. I try. I'm more like Zan Axel Rose. Oh, Zan Axel Rose. But, I, like uh, I think you're friendlier. Maybe. <laughs> maybe the Zan Axel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, uh, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, no, sorry. I, was, we, I started talking about Guns N' Roses and yeah, yeah. everything. So, but, oh, I was going to say, we're not one of those bands that, like, 
Tours puts out an album. Tours, we yeah, do yeah. it when we want to and yeah. when we feel. I mean, bands like that sometimes they put out shitty albums because they just write stuff very quickly. Yeah, it's like I would well, rather we haven't done one in two years, so let's just do one. So yeah, we just want to like take our time and write good songs and yeah. take our time. That's it, you know. Perfect. Yeah. And so same kind of sound. Do you think you're going for oh, yeah. any kind of theme? Mm, not the same. I hate God. You know, <laughs> we're like ACDC. We put out, you know, if they all, they're all. It's I hate God. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's you, gonna sound like I hate like, God. Like, yeah, you get what's on the tin. <laughs> right. Different, different riffs, different lyrics, different. You know, but the sound is ours. You know. I saw some people write on on Blabbermouth, of course. No. I hate God. The corniest band name ever. Personally, I think it's <laughs> I think it's great. If you heard that from any people, like, it, well, oh, that's if corny. they take it literally, I mean, I mean, it's spelled E Y E. Yeah, it's totally different. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not <laughs> spelled I with an I. It's, it's E Y E. But uh, the whole point was, you know, shock value, and, and in the yeah. beginning we were kind but of. But that was 30 years ago. Taking the piss out of everything anyway, yeah, you yeah. know. So. Have things changed in the last 30 years? Uh, of course. We're older and more mature, you know. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> um, I don't know if we act mature, but we are. What's changed? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know. You're a liver. You've got a new liver yeah. since then. Yeah, huh? second lease of life. But, yeah. <laughs> but no, we just, um, we, we just, we're, like I said, we've grown up a little bit, a little tiny bit. So, you know. We just, just want to, we take it serious now. We just, yeah, yeah. We still don't give a fuck about nothing, but... Yeah, we, but I guess that before that I hate God, it's like the teen angst, and now you're like, yeah, fuck it, I do hate God. <laughs> I don't believe well, in yeah. him, so. Yeah, yeah, I hate, I I hate your nonsense. He doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't, he doesn't exist. Wait, is there anything, uh, what's been the biggest change uh, you feel like in the music industry or in touring in the last 30 years that you've noticed? Touring is about the same, I mean, you know... You have the internet now. Yeah, well, yeah, besides all that stuff. <laughs> we came over here in 1993, our first tour in Europe, and, uh, you know, you've got ten kinds of money in your pocket from yeah, every yeah. country, no phones, no, you know, nothing. So yeah. even in America, you'd have to stop at a, at a pay phone to call your tour manager or your, uh, your or booking your agent. Or or, whatever. Yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah. So, so it's, it's easier now. Yes. And you can be vegetarian and not die. Right, exactly. <laughs> Which is always a plus. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for talking to us. It's thank been a you. pleasure, and I'm looking forward to hearing the new stuff in a year or 14. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Now he walks up. Oh, I no, just, there he fucking is. I just text hey, Jimmy. Hey, oh, wait, we're just finishing the interview. Say hello to the people. Yeah, I know. I was watching fucking Come on, we've still got the camera on. Come in. Yeah, that's who we were going to be watching if we weren't waiting for you, motherfucker. <laughs> and how are you doing, Jimmy? I'm great, man. I heard you had some chest pains recently. You had to cancel a show. Yeah. You, is that all good? Turned out to be indigestion. I was yeah, full of shit. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I was you're just shit. full of shit. I'll hey, better than safe than sorry, you know. Hey, yeah, and yeah, we yeah. made up the show in Stockholm yeah, yeah, two we days ago. So. Oh, good, good, good. So you had a nice big poo and everything was okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, it's all poop. good. It's all good. Yeah, poop. Poop. Oh, that's our thing, poop. Poop. Got it with that. Poop. Poop. Hey. Okay, I feel like maybe we're going yeah. off the rails now. So, well, you you missed the best bits of the interview. So oh, now, sure now let's all go watch Meshuggah or Crowbar. All right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.